uh, edging up to quarter two. Let's uh, check on the business. And of course, uh, Simon Jack has been in Plymouth for us uh, through the course of the day with uh, all of those questions and these queues. Simon, still as long. Yes, where a lot of people showed up already, Matthew. We had hundreds of people through. It's a bit like the Antiques Roadshow, but what we're trying to do is find some solutions to some very modern financial problems. We are here in Drake Circus in Plymouth in Devon. And if you excuse the association, we've got a fleet of financial experts tackling an armada of questions from the people who've turned up here this morning, one of whom is Nick, who's made it to the front of the queue, I'm glad to say. What's your question today, Nick? Uh, my pe my uh, question is about pensions. I want to know whether I should take my pension in full or take a larger lump sum and a smaller pension, basically. Well, I hope we'll be able to get some answers for you Thank in you. due course. Now, let's talk now to uh, David Braithwaite, who's, with, by virtue of his name badge, one of our experts today. He's from Citrus Finance. And Richard, you've got a question for him. What, what is your question? I have a reasonable capital sum that I'd like to invest. Uh, in a very fortunate position and I'm really wondering where the best place might be to put that money both in a sort of low risk or medium risk type strategy. And has David been able to help so far? He has, yes. He's offered me different strategies. He's suggested I split my money up and put it into different places just to make sure that it's really safe. OK, Richard's in a fortunate position. Uh, he's, uh, savings is one of your uh, sort of key areas of expertise. What have you been hearing today? A lot of people have got a lot of money. They're really concerned about the low rates they're getting. So it's about getting some advice as to where they should move their money to get a better rate and trying to squeeze every last bit of drop you can out of the interest to make it work that bit harder for you. There's lots of people here that rely on the savings and the interest to actually generate their own income to live off. So it's really important that everyone gets the right advice and go away happy, hopefully. What about people just making ends meet generally? I mean, people's purses are under sort of unprecedented pressure. Mm. You know, prices are going up faster yeah. than wages. It's been interesting to hear that people still do have some money to save. They have, yeah. There's lots of money to save and people are being really quite prudent with it now because they're trying to hang on to what they've got as well. But trying to make it the work that little bit harder with inflation now is over 4% and the most of the savings rates aren't actually paying that. So it's more important than ever to make sure you're getting the best rate you possibly can and keep shopping around for it. All right. Well, David, thanks very much indeed. And Richard, thank you. I hope you get the answers you're looking for. The other hot issue today has been pensions and really not surprising. We've had a lot of changes. We've got changes in the retirement age coming through. We've had rulings from Europe on what you can do with your annuities. Those have been some pretty hot issues. And also a lot of people asking about tax, HMRC getting their tax codes wrong. And a number of people have actually got walked away with actually money almost in their pockets when they've realised that the inland revenue has indeed made a mistake. It's been a great turnout here today. And uh, we'll be out here throughout the afternoon. Moneybox Live will be on Radio 4 from 3 o'clock with Paul Lewis. Uh, we'll be back on the channel. My colleague Declan Curry will be taking over this afternoon. And on the BBC website, bbc.co.uk forward slash business, we've got some case studies of some of the common themes we're hearing today. So if you can't make it down, hopefully one of those will speak to your problem. But for now, back to you two. Simon, thanks very much. That's been very, very interesting. Thank you.